crazy person. Not sure if you can hear her screaming, but she's like, ah, blah, 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 blah. I mean, not like that, but <laughs> you guys get what I mean. <laughs> Got a little cray cray. So, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if those of you who are new here, hello, hello. So, what do you guys think of Mummy background? I know the previous travel haul talks I for Japan. I had this light blue scarf going on, but I've kind of changed it up for something bigger so you don't see the mess in my room. And pardon for the hair. I just kind of tied it quickly. It doesn't look too bad. I am back again for another series of travel haul talks, and this time it's for the trip to okay, Thailand. So this time round, I didn't really get a lot of things in Phuket, but I'm gonna share with you guys anyway. They are mostly food. Um, yeah, I didn't really buy any clothes actually, but I'm just gonna share with you guys anyways because I always want to pair one of these series with my trip so I can talk a little more about it and you guys can know more about the trip. I mean, if you guys are not interested, Watch them anyways, okay? Watch them. Support the sister, okay? So, first I'm gonna start off with food and let's go! So first item I actually have here is the famous dried mangoes. So actually in Thailand, it is very common to to buy dried mangoes there. I guess it's one of their local snack produce and these are very common. You can get them in so many different brands and I basically just bought most of my food from the supermarket. So I've actually got these for my dad, my mom, my family. I haven't got to try them yet and uh, I was thinking actually of doing a uh, you know, nowadays it's very common and it's been out there recently of uh, where YouTubers or people on YouTube, they try food from other countries. I know some of them they try like candy, some of them they try their food, some of them try weird food. But what do you guys think? If you guys want that, I am thinking of doing that. So. Tell me, tell me if you guys want it and I would do that sort of videos as well for you guys. So moving on. So second food item I've got is this very cute bag of food. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Actually this, I got this because for the price it was a very, bad, like it was a value buy because they had one, two, three, four. Four items inside this bag. It contains this banana chip, these mango milk candies, coconut, dried coconut, shrimps, and dried pineapples. So I basically just got these whole set because that way I don't have to buy them individually and end up like spending so much. And it comes in a shopping bag. I mean, it's kind of torn here, but whatever. Just pretend you guys didn't see or hear me say that. So, it comes in a bag. I don't have to package it. I can just like stuff this into my luggage. So, yeah. So, if you guys are interested to buy these, I got them from um, in Phuket, the junk salon shopping mall. They have a supermarket there and they basically have a lot of of these local snacks that you can buy and bring home and I've also gotten instant noodles uh, the thing that's very interesting that is that I got them uh, at these small little marts near my uh, near the apartment and you, they actually allow you to buy in loose packaging if you don't buy them in a set of like five or four you can buy them individually to try them, so which I did try and they were really good. So I just bought a few packets, but I don't have it with me here today. But if you guys are interested, 
you guys can uh, DM me on Instagram or something like that and I'll just take a picture and show you guys so yeah so the next item that I have is quite Embarrassing. I would I wouldn't say embarrassing because I'm not sorry for it, but I would say it is quite funny. So I'm just gonna show you guys. So this item that I've got is cereal. So you're gonna be asking, Raina, what are you thinking? You went to Phuket to buy cereal back. So wait, wait, wait. Calm your asses, I'm just going to tell you why, okay? So, I have actually went to um, the Mart. They actually sell this in, back here in Singapore. I've actually saw this brand before. But why did I buy it? It's because they don't have this flavor in Singapore. This is the plain chocolate flavor. And so far, the Marts that I see near my places, they sell in the chocolate banana flavor. And... No, I just won the original flavor. So I actually chanced upon these in um, Phuket, the Mart, and I've just decided to buy it. And I I'm not sorry for it because um, I actually had a box uh, in the apartment where we ate it for breakfast as well, and it was just so good. I mean, I'm not meant to discriminate the chocolate banana one. Maybe I'll try it one day, but. I just really want to buy the plain chocolate one, so I've got it, so I ain't sorry for it anyways. So that I did get one beauty item. This is also from a, uh, the Mart at near the place that I stayed. So this is by Siento or Siento, I don't know how to pronounce this. This is a whitening facial foam. This is the only beauty product that I've got other than two um, drugstore lipsticks from L'Oreal. Uh, the drugs, the drugstore cosmetic stuff are hella cheap as compared to Singapore. It may not be as cheap as in the U.S., but over there it is way cheaper. Um, in Singapore, buying a lipstick, drugstore lipstick, can cost twenty bucks. It can cost eighteen to twenty bucks, and that is so so expensive for drugstore um, makeup and over there in Thailand I actually got it for I think it was 10 bucks or was it 7 bucks this is in um, SGD conversion and that is hella cheap for where we come from where I come from we I mean where I come from you guys know what I'm talking about so the last few items I have is from High Rock so actually, I have, um, I really like to collect hot rock pins. Uh, if you don't know what it looks like, I'm going to show you in a while time. So I like to collect these pins and basically I just go around the world. Go around the world like I'm some rich ass, but no. Basically, when I travel, I would go to buy these pins. So I do actually start a little small collection. If you guys like to see the collection, leave it down below as well. I just have so much things to show you guys and I'm just so excited to show you guys. Is that wrong? First pin is, um, they say it was this limited edition pin. So I got it because it was cute. So this is how it looks like. This is the limited edition one. It has the uh, motorcycle here. I don't know, maybe it's some iconic thing which I don't know about and um, things there are pretty pricey but that is just how the things go so um, I've got this one for my aunt as well the packaging doesn't look like these I just transferred them out to keep second one is so second item is this gunmetal pin I'm not sure if it's focusing, but it has this little red boat, like, it's like a, not a kayak boat, like a sunpun boat, if you don't know what a sunpun is, you guys can google that. This is like a wooden boat, I think it's pretty iconic as well, I set this kind of boat in, 
um, Panang Bay and yeah so I think that's kind of good I don't really know but I just feel like this is really cute and something different from the usual pins that I have so I decided to get it out of those two pins I have gotten a drawstring bag in this camel design so I just think that it's quite pretty I mean it's quite nice I it. I mean, we all know how the drawstring back works. Yeah, so um, basically that is all. And I uh, just want to share one funny story at the Hot Rock shop was that, um, uh, as I mentioned earlier, things there are quite expensive. And so I didn't have a lot of cash on me because I used it for, I don't know, lunch or something like that. But um, so I just asked. The lady can I pay by card because I mean I don't really mind the shipping and stuff like uh, shipping the conversion charges and stuff like that but I mean I don't have the money already so can I pay by card and she said yes we do a SAP I think it was a master which was what my card was and you know I happily took all my items you know I want this I want that I want this that 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 and um you know, since I was paying by card, so my friend said, Okay, why don't you pay first and we'll pay you back. And I'm like, oh, okay. So, I mean, it's easier. We just pay all in one go. So when I was at the counter, I realized that I didn't bring my card, which was pretty embarrassing because I don't, first, I don't have the card. I already don't have the card and I don't have the cash. So, that looked quite embarrassing to just tell her to, you know, oh, sorry, I didn't bring money. So, like, put better everything. So luckily, my friends had enough cash, so they pulled in to pay cash with whatever cash I have remaining. Basically, I quite had a fun time there. So I'm just gonna talk a little bit more. So because I don't really have a lot of whole things to show you guys. So first thing first was apartment. If you guys watch my vlog, or if you haven't. Do support a sister and watch it and give it thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, we'll leave all the links down below. I've actually mentioned in the vlog when I did the apartment tour. I think it was on day five, if I'm not wrong, that I did the apartment tour, uh, where I actually mentioned that uh, it was an Airbnb. So if you guys are interested in where I was staying, I would leave that down in the link down below for this video as well as that video. So if you missed it, you can check it out over here. I don't know. Things are not bad there. There are taxi services there. But mind you, the taxi services are expensive. So you can try to bargain, but if the lady calls for you, it's just 500 But standard 500 baht. But that is so expensive and you can definitely just wait around the road like a tuk tuk which is their local taxi. Um, we are practically living like a bit on the hill so um, without a tuk tuk you don't drive, you don't bike, it is a bit inconvenient but you can always just wait for a tuk tuk to just pass by because it goes to the Patong area. The second part to this is that things in Phuket are pretty expensive. Activities there are definitely expensive. If you can bargain, bargain. Um, if you guys are not too sure about activities, you can always just go to Phuket and book them. You don't necessarily have to book them beforehand when you go because they can be a little expensive. And definitely find ways that are cheaper. You can bargain with them. Especially if you go on a low peak season, they will tend to accept your bargain because they don't really have a lot of customers. So that would be great. Um, tuk tuk wise, which is the taxi, local taxi especially, bargain if you can because it is so expensive. I mentioned it is 500 baht. And if you haven't been, if you haven't been to Bangkok, Thailand, going to the airport from your to your um, accommodation or your hotel is 300 baht, and that is like a 20 to 30 minutes ride. And here from just our apartment to Patong area, which is like 5 to 10 minutes right, it is 500 baht. 
and how much is that? I don't really know. 20, 20 plus dollars and it is so expensive. Even in Singapore, 20 plus dollars you can just go all the way to the airport. So bargain if you can. What we did bargain was 300 baht. Um, which uh, we stand firm where every single tuk tuk driver we say 300 baht or we're not gonna sit. And there are so many drivers, there will be just one that will be, that will accept your bargain. So one of the tricks that I did was just say 300 baht, they're just gonna give you like a slightly black face and like, oh no, no, 500 baht, 500 baht. Just walk away, there might be a chance that he will just call you back and like, yeah, find 300 baht. But 300 baht is still super duper expensive for just this short trip which costs at the most 100 baht only. So I just got cut off off there because the battery pack died for my DSLR camera. So the quality might just be a little bit different. I'm just using my vlog camera to just end this. So um, basically just things are expensive there but I think I guess because it's a lot of um, the tourists, the Caucasians there so they kind of just muck up the price over there. But all in all, it was great, other than the fact that it rained every single day when I was there, which was kind of sad, but um, nonetheless, I still had fun. I mean, it's a pity I could do so much more. Um, so what I'm gonna plan to do is, I just really wanna go to Bali now, because I've seen my seniors, school seniors, and friends that went there, and they had a time of their life. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that it isn't a monsoon or rainy season and I'm going to do so much there that I missed out in Phuket. Um, other than that, I don't really have much. So I'm going to end it here. So before I go, I'm just going to add a few things. Um, just comment down below if you guys have any videos you guys want me to do. Uh, maybe you could do any videos like travel tips or a Japan tip or a Phuket tip or Bangkok tip or whatever So just to add on, I know I say this on every travel haul talk video I'm going somewhere and yes, I am going somewhere in a few days time actually I am going to Bangkok, Thailand I know, Thailand again, but I this time around, I am going with my family um, Go instead of my friends So I'm going with my dad and my mom For just a short trip of uh, 5 days So, I'll try my best to do a bit of footage If my parents aren't a little awkward My dad said he was okay, so I don't know, I always want to switch up my vlog style a little bit I'm probably gonna put up two different kind of vlogs um, one with just all music and one with talking. I don't know. I'm still deciding So do stay tuned for another new travel vlog. I hope you guys are excited for it If there's even anybody watching this, maybe it's just myself getting excited by myself But that's okay, you know because Though I'm doing this for you guys, I'm also doing this for myself I just want to put content out there whether or not anyone likes it whether anyone watches it I don't know but if you are watching it and if you are a loyal fan of mine which I will be so thankful for and appreciate so much I love you I mean I don't know you but can I say this that I love you guys but I do and for anyone out there be it my friend any stranger to support me Thank you so much because you guys are motivation to, to do more videos. I mean, if nobody watches them, I'm just gonna do the videos anyway. Uh, I kinda contradict myself. Ray, what are you doing? But anyways, thank you so much for watching. You guys have any comments? You guys be nice, I will be nice, I will love you guys forever. And thank you so much for watching my videos. I know I thought too much. I just like to talk. I mean, a girl can never talk too much, can she? <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I said that three times already, but thank you, thank you so much. If you are watching, please, thank you so much. And I'm signing off. Love you guys. Mwah, mwah, mwah.
Bye.